Is it? It's 5:30 a.m. <laughs> Must be a funny joke. I'm going back to sleep. Oh no, you're not. Do you know what today is? What? It is. Well, it's really November 6th, but it's time for your first day of sophomore year of high school. No, 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 I'm going back to sleep. Oh, no, you're not. You got to get up and get ready for the day. I don't want to go to school. Come on. Son, you only got two years left after this. Well, you better have sex because you better be going to college, but... You only have two more mandatory years of school left. Come on, let's face these. No, I want to go back to bed. I want to go back to bed. No, you're going to school. Now, come on. Ah! Oh, good God. Oh. Come on, son. It's going to be fun. No, it's not. You don't understand, Dad. School is the worst thing in the world. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. Well, when you become an adult, son, you'll find out that there's much worse things out there than school. School is pretty tame in comparison. Whatever. Right. Oh, Zeph. Yes, Mom? Your schedule came. Here, I'll come and get it. All right. Here you go. All right, let's see. All right. I have biology with you. Geography with Dad. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Geography with Dad? Yep. Zeph. I'm going to be a teacher this year. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. What's so wrong with that, Zeph? Mom, he's embarrassing. Oh, my God. Oh, we're going to learn all about the world this year. And I got qualified for the job as the local geography teacher. So get ready, pal. I'm your new teacher. No. Oh, I got Mr. Jackman for gym. Whew. He's the best gym teacher. All right, we got lunch. We got... Oh, God. I got to risk my life in psychology again with Fred Krueger. Then try to understand Donald Duck in math. Um, if you need help with your English teacher this year, come and I'll kick his ass. I know. Preston is my English teacher. And... Mario? Mario is one of my teachers? He's going to be working skills. Yeah, you'll, you'll find out more about working skills when you go to his class, but to make a long story short, what it is, is it teaches you a lot of skills you're going to use in adulthood, like how to fix things and stuff like that. Oh, okay. And I got study hall last. Well... I better prepare, prepare for another miserable year at school, and especially this year. What's wrong, son? Well, Dad, you remember what happened over the summer, right? Oh, yeah. Leo and Lincoln moving away? Yeah, I can't believe it. Leo moved to New York City, and Lincoln moved back to Michigan, which means... The only friend I still have is Steve. Well, you and Steve can conquer this together, Zeph. I can promise you that. You're going to have a great school year. Yes, you are. Now, come on. We got we to gotta get there a bit earlier. Uh, your dad and I got to make the first day lesson plans. All right. Cheer up, buddy. You'll be okay. I know. I know. First day of school, here I come. Oh my god, we're here. I know. I'm so scared. Oh my god. Calm down, Steve. 
I know you're scared, but... Well, what's so scary is I only got you and Zelda. <laughs> we're, we're, we're so lonely. We'll make it with just the three of us, okay? Everything's going to be okay. What you should be worried about is the teachers, especially second period. Why? Why? Because my dad is going to be the geography teacher. Uh, you have pretty much the exact same schedule as me. Let me read it. Uh, we'll switch out study hall and psychology and yeah, we have the exact same schedule. Okay, that's awesome then. But, oh man, I get your point. It is pretty scary, only just the three of us. Hi, honey. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Can you make him stop? It's embarrassing. Hush. Hush your mouth. You guys have room for one more? Uh, sure. My name's Brittany, by the way. Uh, nice to meet you. My name's Zeph. Ahem. What? You're not supposed to be talking to other girls. But, but she's just saying hello. Hi, I'm Brittany. I'm Zelda. And hi, I'm... Humana, 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 humana. Hi, I'm Steve. Brittany. Oh yeah, the game was awesome last night. Yeah, go Broncos. Good morning, everyone. Woo, woo. Mile High Stadium. Good morning, everyone. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Pride. Thank you. Now, you have me for homeroom since this is first class. So, after the Pledge of Allegiance and morning announcements are said, we start class, okay? Alright. Good morning. This is Principal Mouse. You may now stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here comes the morning announcements. Welcome back, students. Welcome back to another beautiful year. At Buffalo Hills High School. Joy. Shh. Sign-ups are now available for all sports instead of football. Football, you should have signed up earlier because you're a loser if you didn't. Aw, oh, damn it! Students must also sign up for any club they want, including the Drama Club, which is showing their yearly play, which this year it's going to be... The Spongebob Musical! Well, that sounds like fun. Too bad I already joined. But football, what am I, an idiot? Zeth, shh. Also, in other news, go to the auditorium later today to find out about clubs in this school. We need to start the school day now, so that's it for the announcements. Have a good day. All right. Class is starting. Here we go. All right. So what are we learning about? Well, let me show you. Wh what? That thing is huge. Calm 
calm down, Zeph. It's only 344 pages. Again, that's pretty huge. You're probably going to get the teacher this year that gives you a textbook that's over a thousand pages, so don't complain. Well, maybe, because this is only for the first unit. What? First unit? It's that entire book? Calm down. You'll love it. Our first unit is going to be about the wildlife of the United States of America. We're going to be spending the rest of the month of November covering this. No, so we only have till the end of November to do this. Yup, you're going to have a big test and all sorts of other stuff. You're going to have a project in the middle of the unit where you're going to have to observe some wildlife outside and write a whole essay on what you've learned and apply that to what you're observing. So let me get this straight. If I saw an inchworm outside, could that count? You know what? Yes, it could. That could count. Anything that's a wild animal could count. Now, let's open to page one. Man, this thing is heavy, though. All right. All right, we're starting here. And that is the Cascadian Mountains of Washington State. All right, we're going to do a little mini quiz tomorrow. Have a nice day. I hope you enjoyed your first day. Oh, my God. All right, we get it. We're leaving. All right, we're here. Try not to get embarrassed, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Pride. How are we all doing today? We doing great? I hope so, because I heard I hope to cheer up your day with my year in geography. Whoa, I know, that's the spirit. So um we got a lot to cover this year. We're going to learn all about the world. All sorts of different countries and everything. And to start, I got a little present for all of you. A present? Well, maybe class won't be all that bad. Books! Yep, books. This is your first assignment this year. First assignment? What? Yep. You guys have to pick between these books and write me... A book report on what you learn about the geography of each of these books. You got a choice between Egypt, the Virgin Islands, the province region of France, the California coast, or Hong Kong. Pick up, everybody. Come on, that was like the most interesting one. I'll go with the Virgin Islands. All right, Zeph, you have between province region of France or I'll pick Hong Kong. All right, great. Now, I want you to read these books all throughout class and I want that book report by the end of the period. Dan, yes, yeah, son. You're kidding, right? Kidding what? You want a book report on... How much is my book? Let me go check. My book is... Oh my god, that's longer than Mom's first unit book. That's 368-page book. You want me, by the end of class, to give you a book report on that? Yeah, we have a lot to learn this year, so get to it, son. Please. Please, Dad. Well, I will give you a little bit of an extension. Whew. It's going to be homework tonight. Ah! 
All right, the brain. What do we know about the brain class? Yes, Zella. It's the part of the body that makes you think and... Well, we need a little more of an explanation than that. Um... It causes stuff like dreams. Alright. I'll take it. But only because of the dream part. No. We're gonna learn all about the brain this year. And how the psychology of it works. Oh, joy. Pardon? Oh, joy. Oh, joy, I got Mr. Pride again. Oh, joy, I got Mr. Kruger again. One more time, Zeph. One more time, Zeph. Okay, okay. I ain't putting up with this this year. Please don't kill me. I retired from that years ago. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm giving you an after-school de after detention for that. Mm-hmm. You need to knock off your attitude, Zeth. So let me go write that up. Here you go. Ah, great. Well, I guess that cancels my plans. Of what? Go sign up for the football team. But you should have signed up a while ago. I know the coach, though. He'll he'll take me in. But I thought we were going on a date tonight. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, man. Thanks a lot, Zeph. Now the period's over. Have a nice day, I guess, bitch. All right. Let's go to Preston's class. So this guy is a creep? Uh, that's the understatement of the year. He is one of the creepiest people you will ever meet. And here he comes now. Mm. 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 Can you get away from me, please? Only if you want to have a fantastic year in reading. Mm. So, um, welcome to Preston's English class. Here, this year, we will learn about the wonderful ways of English. And we will be observing novelizations about love. But that novelization is the novelization of Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back. I know. We're going to learn about Han and Solo. Han Solo and Princess Leia's love in this book. Gonna be our main observation. So, turn to page one. This doesn't say a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Well, this book is trash, but it's too late. This is for the lesson plan, so we gotta read it. All right. Turn to page one. You have to read up to page 50 tonight. Holy crap, he's actually one of the lenient teachers. If one of you gives me a kiss. Never mind. Oh, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Hi, kids. My name is Mr. Mario. And welcome to my working skills class. <sighs> he should be one of the more chill teachers this year. I know him very well. Okay, so what we are going to start with this year is building this box. Excuse me. Uh, raise your hand, Zeth. Yes, Seth? How long is it going to take to build this box? 
Um, it is going to take you... Hmm. I'll give you two weeks. Oh my god, he actually seems pretty lenient. Oh my god. What we're going to be doing is working hard every day. That's one of the number one things I want you to do in this class, though. You gotta really build towards it. You gotta study ways to build it. You're gonna figure out how to build it on your own. Research the ways to build this box. So it may seem pretty easy that I'm giving you two weeks to do this, but this box is actually gonna take longer than you think. You need specific types of wood, you need this specific types of metal to put it together. And you need to paint it. Because if you just have a plain wooden box, that's boring, right? So, you don't want that. No, we don't. Alright. So, well, get to work, kids. Oh, you should have a blueprint of what you want to do first. And that is due... Tomorrow morning. I'll give you that for homework. Well, not totally lenient, I guess. <sighs> Alright, class dismissed. What's wrong, Zeph? Mario. Mr. Mario to you today. I'm just kidding. Call me Mario. This... This has been a hard year of school. I know. You're telling me. But, but you're the teacher. I may be the teacher, but I gotta give up all these lesson plans, you know? I gotta come up with absolutely everything and forget it. I'm gonna have the grade stuff soon. I got a lot of homework tonight. I got homework from Dad. I got homework from Mom. I got homework from Mr. Kruger. I got homework in every class. Well, Seth, just realize that this is probably not going to be the hardest point in your life. Sure seems like it. Well, maybe right now it is. But there's going to be stuff that comes upon life that's much, much harder. Like what? One example, work. Another example, tragedies. There's going to be some sad moments in your life that are going to be a lot worse than school. But, you should just be appreciative that you have big breaks with classes like gym and lunch. And you still get to hang out with your friends. Do you know how long we got for lunch? Well, since we're teachers, we pretty much have the exact same time you do, but... We don't get to go to the bathroom as freely as you kids do. We don't get to hang out with our friends or teachers like you do. You're still young. Appreciate it while you can. Well, you gotta get to study hall now, so... Have a nice day, Zeph. You too. Alright, Zeph, you ready to go? What's wrong, buddy? I just come to realize that maybe I seemed like I was unappreciative today. But why? Because I wasn't very excited to go to class or anything, but then I realized something. What's that? That... In a couple of years' time, it's going to be much harder. Adulthood will catch up to you. Mm-hmm. People are going to expect more of you. You're going to be 
going to work, and that's going to be a lot more stressful than school. You're going to be facing tragedies in life. You're going to be have to pay for everything, and I should be appreciative that I'm just in school right now. You're damn right about that. And well... What I'm trying to say is... Thank you. Thank you for giving me the chance to experience a few more years of childhood. Well, you're welcome. Now the school day is over now. You made it through your first day. I know, but technically no. Why? I got the tension with Mr. Kruger. <sighs> Alright, go. I'll stay behind for another hour. You will? Well, I pretty much have no choice now, do I? <sighs> Am I grounded? Mr. Kruger, probably not. He's probably just being super sensitive, so. Go on, have fun. Oh, go to the football coach and see if you can sign up. I know you wanted to do that very much. Thanks, Dad. I love you. I love you too, son. You know, this school day actually turned out to not be so bad. <sighs> Kids. They grow up so fast. <laughs> Boy, hoy, 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 hoy. Uh...